welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a what I eat in a day. I'm about to make myself a green smoothie and I wanted to show you guys my favorite green smoothie recipe. I don't always have green smoothies, but I do have a smoothie pretty much every day. Um, and sometimes I like to incorporate some greens, but I've tried many green smoothie recipes and a lot of them are kind of nasty. So this one's actually the only one that I like can really drink regularly that I actually enjoy. So pretty much for all my smoothies except my coffee one, I like to use orange juice as the base because I find it gives it way more flavor than just using like water or plant-based milk. So um, I like to just do orange juice. If I have fresh spinach, then that's what I'll use, but um, normally like we don't always buy fresh spinach, so I do sometimes get just like frozen kale or frozen, they have like a mixed greens kind of one also. So um, I kind of like to use this because it's cold and it makes the smoothie extra cold, especially if your bananas aren't frozen. And then I like to add some healthy fats. So I am doing a tablespoon of chia seeds and a tablespoon of hemp seeds. And then I'm just gonna add a scoop of protein powder, one frozen banana, and if you have it, like frozen mango and frozen peaches are really good in smoothies. I don't have any of that right now, so I'm just gonna do banana. And then, hi. And I like to add some ice cubes, just again, to keep everything nice and cold. It can sometimes be hard to get all the nutrients you need on a daily basis, especially if you are um, on a more restricted diet, like a plant-based diet. I know that a lot of people like to kind of have that peace of mind that you're getting everything by taking a multivitamin. What I love about Ritual Vitamins is that they have a vitamin that is made just for women. So Ritual Vitamins have everything that you need from like vitamin D3 in the vegan source to like omega-3 and they are vegan capsules. The thing that I love most about them is that they don't have a disgusting vitamin flavor so they actually have like a peppermint tab in them it makes them taste and smell like peppermint which is so nice it feels like super fresh when you take them and I love that these are no nausea so you don't have to take them like with or after food obviously I'm having it with my smoothie just because I always remember to have it when I have my breakfast but you can actually take it on an empty stomach which is really nice but I also love that it's a subscription service. So you can get them delivered right to you. You don't have to remember to go out to the store. Ritual is giving you guys 10% off your first three months of vitamins. Click the link below and use my code to get 10% off your first three months. And let me know what you guys think. If you have heard of them, if you take them already, if you like them, I would love to know. This smoothie is so good. So I've got some work to do. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm having for lunch. And then tonight, we're going out for Indian food with my dad and my sister. So um, I'll show you what I get at that restaurant because they have like some certified, not certified, but like designated vegan options there, which is really cool. So um, I'll make sure to vlog that. But yeah, I'll see you guys at lunch. Hi, I'm back for lunch. <laughs> um, so I am going to make my new favorite red lentil instant pot pasta. I know that some people have asked for non-pasta instant pot recipes and I will do that, but today's not that day. Okay. People are like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then you wanna add in two cups of liquid. So this can either be water or broth. I'm using the vegetarian chicken broth that I got from my bulk store. If you guys watched my bulk haul, my bulk haul, then you would have seen what this looks like in powder form, but um, I just have two cups of that and you can use water if you want. I just find that broth gives it obviously a little bit of extra flavor. And then we're gonna do, oh, I thought this was three quarters. Oops, two thirds of a cup of red lentils, but you know, between half and a cup is fine. The next thing is some coconut cream. This is just for creaminess. You could do any other kind of plant-based milk. It would just probably be a little bit less creamy. Um, and this is just regular full fat coconut milk, but um, because it was in my fridge, it's like solidified, but um, coconut milk, almond milk, oat milk, all of those work just fine. This can is 28 
ounces and these are no salt added so um, I think I mentioned this many times before but I always just get the no salt added ones so that I can add my own salt so you're just gonna dump it in if you don't like big chunks if you're like me circa 2010 <laughs> then you might want to blend this but I actually like the chunks in this so and then the last ingredient is just some mixed herbs if you want to just use like basil oregano thyme um, parsley you can just put them in separately but I do like to have mixed ones like this so that it's just easy to kind of do a couple teaspoons so then you just want to stir it all up if you can tomatoes are very heavy okay. there we go you just want to stir it up until it's all combined kind of scoop down the sides just so quick like you can literally whip up a lunch like this is gonna take maybe like 10 minutes total to cook and then it took what like five minutes to throw together I did it you want to try it. and then you just want to set it to manual for six minutes oops there you go so while my pasta is cooking. I'm gonna make some coffee because I haven't had some in two days. <laughs> I just realized. So what I'm gonna add first is some oat milk. Well, I've got a bunch of ice. And then I'm gonna add some oat milk, some coffee creamer. Okay, now that the Instant Pot's quiet, um, I'm going to use this new Coffee Mate Coconut Bliss creamer. And it's just the sweet creme, sweet cream flavor. Um, so I'm gonna put in just just a little splash of that. Just a small splash. Two shots of vodka. Woo, that's gonna be strong. So I've got my espresso here, and I should look this up if this is a macchiato, but I'm pretty sure it is, because this is what they used to do at Starbucks. So. And then you just like ruin it by stirring it anyway. <laughs> but it's cool. It's like the most fun part of the coffee making experience is making it look pretty. Mmm. Just good. A little sweet. I went a little overboard with my just a just a dash joke, but yeah, she's a little sweet. Oh well, that's okay. <laughs> Ba -da -da. Stir it all up. Make sure it's all stirred together. Okay, so this pasta, like I said, is like six ingredients. Um, but what I like about it is that you can just add whatever else you want to it to make it, you know, more flavorful or whatever kind of flavor you like. So I'm gonna add a little scoop of hummus. As well as some spinach. Last time I made this, I added in some um, cashew cream that we had. So good, guys. And it literally, like, the base of it can all be made with pantry staples, which is so convenient because it's stuff that you can just, like, keep on hand and have the most quick and easy meals. Nutritional yeast for the B vitamins. A little bit of crushed, whoop, <laughs> crushed red pepper flakes. And some pepper. And then obviously I'm gonna like what? stir it up. <laughs> Willa, you just came in, honey. So hot. So good though. Oh my god. I like red lentils with this because they kind of help thicken the sauce and um, take a lot less time to cook. So you don't have to wait for so long. Like less time than brown lentils, I mean. Yeah. <laughs>